Okay guys, thank you again and welcome to my channel. This time, we're going to teach you on how to create a learning video material para sa inyong mga online session, online classes. Okay? This time, we're going to use the OBS Studio or the Open Broadcaster Software. So, this is a pre- and open source software for video recording at sikat din to no do sa mga nag youtube live streaming okay so let's start so sa inyong google chrome or sa inyong uh, browser just have to type obs okay and then lalabas na yung obs obsproject.com then you just have to click on that para lumabas itong per screen okay so napaka easy lang so you have to select kung ano yung OS or operating system na ginagamit mo yun so I'll be clicking on the windows button kasi windows yung ginagamit ko so when you click on the windows button okay ito download nyo na yung inyong OBS studio and then follow lang yung step para mag-install. Okay? So, once na install na, so, ito na yung lalabas na screen natin. Okay? So, you see a blank screen. So, ito yung inyong scene. And then, sa baba, yung mga windows para sa pag-setup kung ano yung ginagawa ng OBS. Okay? So, there are two important uh, window sa baba ito yung scenes window and the sources window so yung scene so there is a need for you to have at least one scene so ito yung, yung ano natin is yung scene natin eh, parang ito yung isang scenario natin so if you wanted to change the name so you just have to click or right click and then select the rename to confirm kung ano man kung ano yung ginagawa ng scene yun. so for example ang ginagawa niya ay, for example, for our camera. Okay. So, I can name it cam. Okay. So, but then, wala pa rin nangyayari, no? So, ano ba yung gagawin natin para magkaroon ng laman yan? Okay. So, do sa ating sources, we have to add sources para do sa ating scene. Okay. So, you just have to click on the plus sign and then select. So, ang case ko rito is, uh, kailangan makita ko ng mga estudyante ko. So, there is a need for me to add a video capture device. So, ito yung sabad ng iba ba. Okay? So, click on that. So, hindi natin papalitan yung pangalan, no? yung default name. But then, still, you can change this one. That one. Okay? For example, I can name it camera. And then, click on OK. Okay, so ito na yun, yung aking picture. So, just leave it there. And then, we'll click on OK. So, ayan na siya. Nagkalaman na yung ating scene 1. So, pwede mo siyang i-resize. Pwede mo siyang i-reposition kung saan mo man siya gustong ilagay. Habang nagdi-discuss ka. No? So, for example, ito yung gusto ko. Dito ako makikita ng masyadyante habang nagsasalita. While yung aking lecture ay makikita naman dito sa area na ito. Okay? So, that will be my scene 1 name cam. So, go back to the scene window. I'll have to put another one, another scene. So, click on the plus sign. So, for example, dito ko gustong gawin yung aking lecture. So, for example, meron akong nakaready na PowerPoint. Okay? So, mas maganda, i-rename mo siya para hindi ka marito later on. So, for example, PPT. So, ito yung aking PPT scene. Okay? So, balik uli, no? wala siyang laman kasi hindi pa natin nilalagyan ng sources. So, tingnan natin yung cam, scene natin, kapag clinic yung cam, so, ito na yung laman ng ating uh, sources o yung ating window. Okay? So, sa aking PPT, gusto ko maglagay ng PowerPoint, of course. Okay? So, there are two ways. 
So one is to select the display capture, or the other one is to select the window capture. So on the difference sila, so the so the sa display capture, you must have select yung may kita mo lahat kung ano man yun na sa screen mo yun, anything, okay? But then sa window capture, you can specify kung ano man yung application or window lang na gusto mo makita do sa screen, okay? So at this point. Gusto ko makita lang yung PowerPoint presentation ko. So, maybe I just have to select this one, Window Capture. Okay. So, maybe I can rename this one PowerPoint. Okay. Click on that one. On the OK. And then, dito sa window, once na clinic mo yung window na yun, Okay. Lalabas lahat ng mga applications or windows, pati sa Chrome sa inyong browser na naka-on or naka-open. Okay? These are the applications na naka-open currently sa aking laptop. So, I have there WinWord. Meron akong Chrome na naka-open. But then, ayun yung PowerPoint ko. Okay? So, I can select or I can click on that. Para yun yung lalabas dito sa aking screen. Okay. So, yun na siya. And then, click on OK button. So, ito na yung aking PowerPoint. So, again, the same as with my camera. Pwede kong i-resize yan. Pwede kong ilagay kung saan ko mag gusto sa aking scene. Okay. So, gusto kong sakupin yan. Pwede rin. Okay. That's it. Now, Another one. Uh, gusto ko nakikita ako ng aking estudyante ulit no? habang nag-discuss ng aking PowerPoint. So, what will I do? Do sa aking source, take note ha, nandito sa PPT scenes. Do sa aking source, I'll click on plus again. Just like yung ginawa ko kanina do sa cam, pwede akong magdagdag ng video capture device ulit. Okay? But then, the other way to put it is go to the cam since andun na yung ating camera source okay copy and then sa aking powerpoint o ppt scenes pwede ko siyang itagdag okay ayun na siya okay so pansinin nyo guys doon sa aking sources under ng ppt scenes dalawa na yung camera sa kay powerpoint So, kung gusto ko matabunan yan, there are cases na nasa ilalim no? yung aking camera. So, matatabunan siya ng PowerPoint, hindi siya makikita. So, all you have to do is click on the camera and then click and drag. Ayun, ganun lang kasimple. So, kailangan na sa ibabaw siya. Okay? So, ito na yun. Okay? Uh, okay, another scene. Ano po ba yung gusto niyong gawin sa lecture mo? So, maybe I can add a front page, starting page, ng aking welcome page, ng aking lecture. So, I can add another scene, example, intro page. Okay, so again, blank yung screen natin. So, I'll add another source. This time, I'll be selecting the text. Okay, para magsulat ako, no? uh, para magkaroon ng text yung aking intro, introduction page. Okay? So, para ka lang type sa Word or kung ano man yung ibang mong device or oh, application kaya tayo. So, pwede rito itong ilagay. Lesson 1. Okay? So, click on OK. So, yun siya. Pwede mong palitan yan na na color and font. So, if you wanted to put another text, so repeat mo lang yung process. Click on plus and then yung text. And then, okay. So, maybe I can put okay. and click on okay. So, you can change your font if you want. Okay. And then, mag select ang font. Okay, yung size, pwede mo palitan. 
Okay. So, open yun sa akin. So, click on OK. So, yun yung aking title. So, i-rearrange ko lang siya. Okay na, di ba? But then, black lang siya, no? So, maybe, pagandi ko sa konti, I can put on a an image or a background. Okay? So, click on plus and then select image. Then, click on OK. You can browse. So, maganda kung may nakaredy ka na dyan mga graphic files. So, maybe I can select this one. And then, click open para mapunta siya doon sa aking window. Okay? So, again, click on OK. So, yun siya. So, I can rearrange. So, yung size niya, pwede kong baguhin. Okay? So, sa pwede niyo yung buong screen. But then, ito yung sinasabi ko, no? Natabunan yung dalawang item doon sa aking source. So, maybe yung image na yan, ilagay ko sa ilalim. So, click and drag. Ayun. Okay? So, nakatutun na ako since. So, ulitin ko, no? Meron akong intro page. And then, meron akong PowerPoint. Okay, and then meron akong cam. So, palitan pala natin yung cam, no? Nagamitan natin yung mali. So, maybe ang purpose itong cam na to, cam scene, is parang introduction. Parang gusto ko lang, wala lang. Bago mag-lecture, ako muna yung bida, for example. So, para ikaw lang muna yung makikita. Okay? So, kaya sakupin mo yung buong screen. Okay? So, we have three items. Okay? So now, pwede ka na mag-lecture. So, but then, mas maganda, may isa pang technique, no? Uh, kasi habang nag-lecture ka, mas maganda kung hindi nakalabas yung yung ating OBS or meron kang control to sa OBS if you wanted to stop or start recording. Okay? So, or, paano kung palalabasin yung mga scenes mo? Okay? So, you can have it by clicking on the setting do sa last window sa baba. Okay? Click on setting and then select yung hotkey. Okay? Hotkeys. Okay? So, nandito siya. Start recording is set sa F9, function key 9. Start recording is set for function 9. And then, down below, scroll ka lang. Nandito yung yung three scenes na ginawa. So, ito yung count scene natin. Ito yung intro page scene. Ito na may PowerPoint scene. So, ilalagyan natin. So, switch to scene. Ano yung gusto mong function para ka mag-switch papunta doon sa cam. For example, lagyan natin F4. Press F4 doon sa yung keyboard. Ayan na siya. Okay, but then, nagkaroon ng error. Ibig sabihin niya, ng error na yan, nagamit mo na yung F4. Okay? So, yun nagamit na pala yung stop screening streaming rather okay so maybe i can select f5 para sa cam and then sa interface naman f6 and then sa aking powerpoint scene i'll press f7 okay so para masave yan click on x okay and then click on yes okay so may mga functionality na tayo so try natin f5 so, yun, lalabas yung cam. F6, lalabas yung power, uh, intro. Yung F7 naman, lalabas yung aking PowerPoint. Okay? And then, yung F10 para sa start recording. And yung F9 para sa ating stop recording. But then, may nakalimutan tayo kanina. Uh, we don't have yet a sound device. Kasi, pagka-plinay natin to wala siyang audio. Okay? So, punta tayo sa cam. Click on plus again, and then select audio input capture device. Okay? So, click on OK para mapunta ka doon sa setting. So, just the same. May mimili ko kung anong device na naka-install doon sa inyong uh, laptop or computer. So, ito yung naka-install sa akin. So, I'll be clicking on that. And then, click on OK. Okay? So, to test... Meron audio mixer button sa baba ng inyong sources window. So, click on audio mixer. Pagka naglalaro, no? Bumagana, naglalaro yung, uh, yung inyong biometer na tinatawag. Ibig sabihin, 
okay yung inyong device na naiset up. Okay? So, balikan din natin yung source window. And then, yung aking PowerPoint, no? Meron ding camera doon, but then walang audio device. So, what I'll have to do is click on audio. Copy mo yan. Control C. And then, go to the PowerPoint scene or PPT scene. And then, Control V to sa source para ma-add mo yung audio device. Okay? So, yun na siya yung audio device. Okay? Para ma-test yan, click mo ulit yung audio mixer. Kailangan naglalaro yan. Okay? So, I guess we're now done to sa ating setup. Okay? okay? So, para lang makita natin na uh, nag-start recording na siya. Okay? Dito sa iba ba, dito sa ating taskbar, dito sa ating icon ng OBS, ito yung itim. Pagka prinest mo yung start recording or prinest natin yung F10, yung sinet natin key, kailangan may lalabas yun na another parang button or dot. Okay? Okay. So, tingnan natin. Press F10. Okay. So, kailangan, ayun, may nakita na tayo yung recording. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung ginagawa natin dito, nagre-record na siya. So, pwede na nating simulan yan. For example, uh, gusto ko yung labas yung introduction mo natin. Ano ba yung introduction natin kanina? Yung F7 o F6. So, ito yung introduction natin. So, kanyari, tapos tayo mag-intro. So, gusto mo na magsalita muna. Hello guys! Hello students! Welcome to our class for today. So, nakapag-intro ka na. Gusto mo nang pumunta doon sa inyong presentation mismo. So, you just have to press F7. Okay? So, yun na. Nag-lecture ka na. Okay? So, kung tapos ka na mag-record o mag-klase, kung tapos na yung discussion mo, so, you can start you can start the recording. Okay? By pressing F9. Okay? So, that's it guys. So, I hope may natutunan kayo. And don't forget to to view our other videos and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.